guys, this is me, and this is my beautiful daughter, Sweet Lali, and we want to welcome you to our super awesome channel of Lali and Me. Another episode of Lali and me and okay so this one's gonna be another little tip that I've been researching in a while but it's not really I mean it's not really a pregnancy tip it's more of a it's more kind of like an overall tip so Ready, you guys? Here we go. So, since you're a mom, or you're going to be a new mom, or you are a new mom, you definitely know what this is. Babies hate these, mommies love these. Makes sense. Her hair is really crazy. So, everyone knows what this is. We all have different color, shapes, and sizes. Um, this is the biggest one I own, and it's my favorite. I've actually had this one since, um, I took this from the hospital, actually, when she was born. But, it's been my favorite so far. I have, like, little tiny ones, and I have, um, a medium one. But, this one's definitely, she's reading a book. The American Academy of Pediatrics actually suggests that you use these whenever your babies have difficulty or anything. They suggest using this and a salt water solution to dilute the thick mucus. So that's what they recommend. Letting you guys know. Okay. Um I was looking for their official name. I think that their official name is a uh, bulb syringe. So I guess that's what they are. They're a bulb syringe. I usually just call them a nose a nose sucky a boogie sucker. Yeah but um I guess that's what they call their bulb syringe so starts with the basics. When are you supposed to use these? You're supposed to use these when your baby's having difficulty breathing um, because of obstructions in the nasal passages. You're supposed to do that when you hear them like breathing really noisily, very noisily, so you know, like pushing really hard and just like little we like whistles. Yeah. That and like bef if they have a stuffy nose, like right before you, you breastfeed them or um, right before breastfeeding them or you know bottle feeding them and they have a stuffy nose, suck them up or if their coughing hasn't developed too much and they can't clip and they can't clear out their throats, yeah, all by themselves, whenever they spit up, you know. That, you know, you just suction it up and they're good as new. So, according to the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters in Norfolk, Virginia, okay, I hope I got that right, uh, they suggest to limiting suctioning two to three times daily. So, I didn't know that. <laughs> that was kind of a new fact for me. So, you're supposed to limit the suctioning two to three times daily. Because, because you could dry out their nasal passages, you could make them sore, and you could even cause them to bleed. So, you know, let's not take risks and, you know, new fact, limit it down to two to three times a day. So, yeah. Okay, so now that we, you know, got over when to use these and, you know, that, okay, so go over how to clean these because... I guess it could be kind of hard to know how to clean this thing because it only has one little hole in it. So, so you okay? So let's go over washing these. So you have the cleanest available syringe bowl for your newborn and child. Okay. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take soapy water and the mild dishwashing soap. It can't, well it's recommend, you're recommended not to use antibacterial soap. Um, I didn't research why, but um, that's what, 
they said. And they said that after you take the soap, you're supposed to suction it up in there. And then while there's water in here, you just swirl it around. And then you squish it all out. And then you do that for a couple times, just with the soapy water. So after you did that a couple times, and you swish it and you take it out, so then you're supposed to let it air dry. You let it air dry, and then you do it again, but this time just with plain hot water. So you just suction it up, swirl it in there, squish it out. And you're supposed to repeat it as many times as you can before the water cools down, because it's supposed to be with hot water. Um, with hot, plain water. So just kind of sip it, swirl it, squish it out, and you're supposed to let it air dry with the tip facing down, so like this. And you just let it air dry. So then after it's clean, they suggest that before you put it away, you sterilize it. So the correct way of sterilizing these are you place them in warm water. Preferably the water has to be 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And you leave it in there for about 8 to 10 minutes. Um, 8 to 10 minutes uh, while the water cools. And then you remove it from the water and you rinse it. And then um, they suggest that you rinse it using rubbing alcohol. And then after rubbing alcohol, you air dry it and you put it away. So that's the way that they suggest that you actually sterilize these. So that's the sterilizing. So I've come to find um, some articles showing where... Uh, uh, people who use these frequently with babies, because we know newborns, they're used very frequently. Um, they said that even though no matter how much they wash them, they always, uh, when they're cut in half, they find that these things grow mold. And that is disgusting because, I mean, you can't see in here. As hard as you try, you really can't see in here, so you don't know what's growing in here. Um, I've seen a couple pictures, and I might, I'm going to put those up now. Yeah. yeah, so you see like mold growing in them and it's really gross and it just grows all on the inside and you can't even tell. Ugh. Yeah, I don't even know what that is, but it was found in one of the syringes. Okay. So that's those are things that people have found in their bulb syringes and I think that it's really disgusting. And I think that I do a good job at keeping this clean. I um I put it in boiling water before even using it on her and when I'm done so I boil it twice before using it and then after usage so I think mine should be fine but before I cut up my favorite syringe which I'm kinda sad that I'm doing because I love the syringe it's the best little boogie sucker ever but okay before I do that let's go over this so uh, a lot of people overthink this like I told my mom this and she's like oh I haven't thought of that and my mom has four kids Here's another suggestion to you. Um, bath toys tend to get a lot of mold because um, they're always being cons they're always consistently moist from the inside because a lot of water is held up there. So here's a couple things that you could do to avoid uh, getting mold in your kids um, in your kids uh, bath toys. So I found this pretty helpful and I actually do this. I do the first tip myself. I do this to all her bath toys, all her spooky toys and stuff. So, to avoid bath toys from getting mold, you need to plug up the holes. Um, like little, well she doesn't have any duckies, she has like the plastic floating princesses. But I know like the duckies and stuff, like they have a little hole in the bottom like this. And you know, a lot of kids use it to like squirt out water and stuff. So, I'll put a picture. Yeah, that. Consider plugging up that hole, and what I found really useful is if you have a glue gun at home, just use a little bit of glue in the hole, and it actually holds up really, really well. Like, um, I did it to her toys a couple months ago, and she uses them regularly in her shower because she showers daily, and the glue hasn't come out, and it's still pl plugging up the hole, basically. So, uh, with a simple glue gun, like, um, I use the glue sticks from Dollar Tree, so, I mean, and they worked really well, so it's not even that expensive to plug up. 
So, you know, plug up the holes with a glue gun. Um, I heard that you can boil the toys. So you can boil the toys, like, um, maybe, like, once a week and stuff. So just, like, put them all in a pot and just kind of, like, steam them. So you're kind of, like, sterilizing them. So, uh, that's another thing. That, um, I found that bleach kills mold. So... So, what I found this tip is you leave the um, bath toys in a bleach soak overnight. So, if you're interested in doing this, this is how you do it. You grab uh, three fourths of a cup of bleach, and for every three fourths of a cup, you're going to add a gallon of water. So, then you add a gallon of water and you let them soak in there all night long. So, that one's pretty easy. And then after the soak, you rinse them multiple times with like warm water so eventually what um, they said that happens is that the bleach will evaporate so there will be no dangerous chemicals there for your baby so that's a tip I found I don't know if you're interested in that one honestly I feel a little iffy about that I don't know if um, I'd bleach Lally's toys I think I'd I think I'd rather boil them because the first thing that bath toys do is they go directly into the baby's mouth and you don't know if it could have remains of bleach but I'm giving out that suggestion and um, I also saw that the dishwasher kills germs so if you throw them in there in the a cycle in the dishwasher it says that it'll sterilize it and kill the mold which I don't know I feel kinda iffy about that I don't trust dishwashers like I'd rather wash them by hand well Angel does <laughs> so um, you could try that too if you'd like so don't overthink that we need to protect our babies from all that dirty yucky stuff that you know you can't really see okay so okay you guys so the moment you've been waiting for or you know I've been kinda waiting for um, I am gonna cut up my bull syringe and we're gonna see how well I've kept up with the um, hygiene, I guess you could call it. I don't know if it's called hygiene. But we'll see how well I've kept up with cleaning this. I think I've done a good job and I won't find gunk in here. But, we'll only see. I'm kind of sad that I'm doing this because it's my favorite syringe. But, um, I guess it's better to find out because if I keep using this, we, I don't know what might be inside. So if I find some gunk, I think I will throw away all my bulb syringes and buy new ones. So, okay, you guys. Here I go. So I opened my bulb syringe and it's really clean. So that makes me really happy. I've been keeping up really well with it, but it also makes me really sad. This was my favorite syringe. I got it from the hospital. <laughs> I don't know if I could get another one. So I'm happy that I kept it clean. Um hope this helped you guys. Oh, I'm so sad. My Syringe. Mm. I cut up my syringe. Well, I guess I'm kind of bummed out. But I mean, it's guess it's best to know. So don't forget to wash these. Mine's completely clean, which I'm so glad. And I've had this one for over a year. So. I have another one. It's a little less big, but I mean, it's better, right? So. So thanks for watching you guys, I hope this helps, don't forget to like, like and comment and subscribe, I put up new videos, I try at least once a week, but um, I do go to school now, so we'll see how that plays out, so um, I want to say thanks for watching, hope to see you guys again, bye!